Hey, good afternoon, everybody. I'm back with another video on a box of uh, Cuban cigars I just got. Um, haven't tried these before, but I've always wanted to. These are the Vegas Robania Famosos. Um, Vegas Robania is a legendary farm uh, that's been growing tobacco in San Luis Pinar del Rio since uh, 1845. It was uh, previously managed by none other than the godfather of Cuban tobacco, Alejandro Robania, who passed away uh, back in 2013, I believe. Um, Alejandro passed on his leadership of the farm to his grandson, Hirochi, back in 2003, and Hirochi continues the legacy of Robania today. Um, the farm is famous for supplying Cuban uh, tobacco, wrapper tobacco especially, um, to more than 30% of all of the cigar brands. Especially, it is the one and only Cuban wrapper tobacco for Cohiba and Bahique uh, that comes from the Robania farm. Uh, so like I mentioned, at one time it was more than 30% of all brands utilized the Robania wrapper tobacco. Um, grown at their farm and it is a uh, it is a pretty good spicy product um, Robania became its own brand in 1997 as a tribute to Cuban farmers and honors essentially all the anonymous tobacco growers that make the Habanos what they are today um, this particular cigar uh, again is the Famosos which is a uh, otherwise known as Hermoso number four in the line. It's a five by 48 ring gauge. It's a medium to full bodied and it's comparable uh, specifically to the Cohibo Robusto. Great construction, um, spicy profile, and it retails for around $15 a cigar. Um, so here we are. This is the box, beautiful uh, labeling, um, artwork with uh, Alejandro depicted on there. Um, here's the Cuban Certificate of Authenticity, the seal. Um, hologram, your Habanos in the top right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, another, another one key trait people don't realize when getting a box of Cuban cigars, when you flip it over, that's where you should see your Habanos. Uh, label your stamp on the bottom um, it should be I guess you could say head over heels turning it if you if you turn it this way and that Habanos is upside down you probably got a counterfeit product that's just one way of showing you that um, so if you just flipped it straight over you should see your stamp um, perfectly aligned perfectly up, upright not upside down um, so let's get into this box. It's uh, another product that I got from my favorite retailer, Cuban Lose, based in Switzerland, who always packages with uh, cellophane wrap on the outside and a nice boveda for humidification during its travels. So this is a uh, young product as I expected because they don't stay in stock very long. So it was manufactured box date September of 19. So uh, just over half a year, coming up on a year uh, that these have been in the box. So uh, they'll be pretty strong. Uh, and the profile will balance out in time in my humidor, uh, but it's not going to be long before I try one, that's for sure. So let's cut into here, and then we'll cut into here. Another label from Romania. Cut the seal from Habanos, which has been authenticated. And then we will pop the little nail. And I'm missing a seal. So we have another seal here that we want to cut, which I like. I like them packaged this way because I'm pretty, pretty certain they're going to stay. Oh, 
well kept. Here's your internal box. Certificate of Authenticity. And I'm excited to see what is beneath this. And there they are. Nice medium chocolate, I would say, in the description. Labels all aligned nicely. I'll pull one of these out. It's slightly, I wouldn't say box pressed, but it is slightly box pressed, um, which is uh, a shape that I like. Um, smells great, great flavor, uh, aroma profile. And I'm not going to lie, I'm probably going to have one of these tonight. Or this afternoon, we'll see. But not for the faint of heart. If you're a beginning smoker, uh, the profiles of these will be a lot stronger than your typical uh, Dominican or milder version cigar. So um, if you get a chance to try them, I would highly recommend them. Um, and if you have any questions, go ahead and leave some comments. I'd be happy to answer them. And again, I thank you for paying uh, a visit to my page.